Hi, I'm Dr. Kay Kirkpatrick, State Senator for Georgia's 32nd District. Welcome back to my Senate Minute. We have now completed seven weeks of this year's session and are quickly approaching, approaching crossover day. This date is a crucial deadline that both the Senate and House chambers must meet and have their bills vetted and passed on their respective floor. After crossover day, the Senate will only be reviewing House bills and vice versa. This week, we had many honorable leaders of the federal government stop by the state capitol for a visit. United States Senator Johnny Isaacson, U.S. Congressman Barry Loudermilk, Jody Heiss, and U.S. Congresswoman Karen Handel spoke to the Senate chamber, congratulating us on our work so far in this session and reinforcing the importance of our positions as leaders to speak up for you, our constituents. On Tuesday, my first bill was passed on the Senate floor. I introduced Senate Bill 356, which will create the Georgia Commission on the Holocaust to designate a location for a memorial on the Holocaust. I was honored to be appointed to this position by the Lieutenant Governor, and I look forward to seeing this bill move through the legislature so we can establish a sacred location to remember so many lost lives. This week, a major piece of legislation was presented to the Georgia General Assembly. The Governor, Lieutenant Governor, and Speaker of the House established a tax reduction on state income tax for Georgians. House Bill 918 will reduce the top income tax from the current 6% rate to 5.75% by 2019 and to 5.5% by 2020. This is an impactful measure for all Georgians and will put your hard-earned dollars back into your pockets. Another piece of legislation that was passed this week was Senate Bill 402. This bill will bring access to high-speed broadband to rural areas of Georgia. It is important that all areas throughout our state are receiving resources to set citizens up for success. Access to high-speed broadband allows businesses to develop, serves educational purposes, and is key to our growing use of telehealth. Our days to make legislative decisions during this year's session are numbered, and I will continue to work my hardest to serve District 32. If you ever have any questions or concerns, please contact my office or email me at k.kirkpatrick at senate.ga.gov. I'd be happy to help. If you're over the ages of 12 and would like to serve as a page, please contact my office. This will give you an opportunity to get a first-hand look at how your state government works and meet some of your state leaders. Thanks again for all of your support.